Hi, I'm Kiana, a video editor at Impactor, and welcome to episode one of our video series. So we've been living in quarantine for a couple of months now, but while some of us are in cities that are beginning to reopen, there are still quite a few places that are still uh, in lockdown or in fear of another spike of the virus. And quite frankly, there is a high possibility that we will see a new wave of this virus in the fall as well. So instead of looking at this through a negative lens, I wanted to see how people were changing their behavior in a more positive way that could support a sort of Earth 2.0, if you will, uh, so that we have something more positive to look towards. Because, let's face it, our Mother Earth could use a little extra love and support right now. With that said, I've asked a number of people to share what they've been doing in quarantine to be more sustainable. So, here it goes. Arugula, 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 and growing very nicely. I got the grow lamp right here. We got spinach in the back. We got a high quality breed of lettuce right here, as well as another mini spinach right here. I'm making my own compost. A lot of weeds and things from the garden, and then kitchen scraps. Neil Trueblood from outside Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And I just wanted to show you my garden. I have tomatoes, basil plant, and a little bit of mint. I'm growing a garden. Strawberries, we have tomatoes, and we have lettuce. Now every day I go and I'm able to pick curry leaves from that tree over there. We have basil, we have spinach, we have mint, and we even have a moringa tree right up here. I'm just whipping up some snacks. I've been trying to go vegan as much as I can. Tim, what are we making? Well today, we're repurposing Trader Joe's chicken taquitos into a nice, Taquito salad. This grocery service called Imperfect Foods. They are a zero waste uh, food subscription service that sends your groceries right to your door, farm to table. And tonight I'm cooking up some jerk chicken. This is me eating um, fruit with the skin on because of fiber and less waste. Mmm. And I also have some veggies over here. I put that over there, and I made some amazing cereal to do with it. And um, I'm just gonna have that for lunch. This is pretty much uh, how I try to stay sustainable. I um, make homemade granola. I basically use some rolled oats, chia seeds, coconut oil, a little bit of maple syrup, and some nuts and blueberries. You just mix it up pop it in the oven for 20 minutes, and it's ready to go and you can eat it whenever you want. I started to uh, buy a reusable water bottle um, that I take with me everywhere, so this is it. My name is Darren and I'm in Nashville, Tennessee. I have my bidet. And smaller changes like switching from bottle to bar shampoo and conditioner. And I actually moved during the quarantine, so I needed some household items. So this is probably pretentious, but I had spare wood, so I made a cutting board and attempted some spoons and uh, chopsticks. One, we've been running the dishwasher on full, which is very important. Two, we've been also drying our clothes on a nice line like this. We're at the fam workout, staying healthy, staying sustainable. Peep this behind me. Recycling bag! And I recently purchased a, a drying rack um, for clothes. I also don't buy cleaning agents. Um, I use vinegar and water. Mmm, vinegar. First things first, I use what we call in Farsi an bit, also known as a bidet. If you'd like to see me use one of these, feel free to subscribe to my OnlyFans. <laughs> don't do that. When you unpack a box for recycling, this plastic tape can't actually be recycled. This is that if there's one piece of trash, whether it's a dirty takeout container or whether it's plastic on a cardboard box, they'll actually throw out the entire bag of recycling right into the landfill. When you're unpacking your boxes, you should take every label off. So like any of the sticky things, like all the shipping labels, after 
after we're done with boxes, we give them to the cats because they like them more than the expensive beds we buy them anyway. I still have a long way to go, but this time and this lockdown has definitely made me realize how important it is for us to reconnect with nature and take better care of our Mother Earth who gives us everything. I know that this has been a really emotionally and mentally exhausting period for a lot of us and thinking of sustainability and how much there is that needs to be done can be really overwhelming. But it all begins with just one tiny change and that little change will lead to another and then another. So I commend you all for doing what you can and taking the necessary steps towards a better earth. And I leave you with this quote from Uncle Iroh in Avatar The Last Airbender. <clears throat> in the darkest times, hope is something you give yourself, and that is the meaning of inner strength. Now remember to leave your comment below, let us know what you've been doing during quarantine or what you thought of this video, and subscribe, like, and please share this video with your friends. See you in the next episode, and thank you!